this is Paula from Fairly Chic Emporium and today we're doing this lovely hall stand that we managed to find on Gumtree. I think it's got loads of lovely detail. Uh, these leaves that we're going to try and pick out afterwards but the first thing that we're going to do using London Vintage Paint, Satin Veil, look at that lovely colour. Trying to find a colour that will go in most people's houses um, and then we're going to work some magic on it after that but we're going to crack on, give it solid colour of this first so we'll see you back when that's all done. Right, so we've completely covered the piece in the paint and I've distressed, as you can see, along all of the edges by hand using um, some sandpaper. Just showing up the edges and the bits that stick out. Um, so now we're on to the next printing it stage. So I just thought I'd talk very briefly about this. This is called Artisan Enhancements. This is where it's come from and you can look them up on Facebook. Um, to find your closest stockist and they can post it to you. This is um, a metre and it costs a pound and it's, I don't know if you can actually see how see-through it is from the other side where I've already used it before. <laughs> Need <Neat. laughs> He's got hold of a bit of a typical masking tape. <laughs> don't be naughty. So, what you do to make this work, and I think it's really, really cool, is use this stuff which is called um, foil size and I've decanted it because I had a leak uh, in the original pot that it came in um, and you literally just it looks like white very thin glue maybe and you just paint where you want it to where you want your silver to go so I'm literally just doing rough lines in all of the grooves and I've done the rest of the piece in the same way where all the grooves are and then you need to wait for it to dry I speed that up with a hairdryer and it takes about five minutes with a hairdryer and the test is to touch it and if it feels tacky but doesn't feel like it's coming away with you then it's dry enough and then when that happens I'll show you the next stage so I'm just going to finish off these grooves and dry it before we show you the next bit. Just to show you, it also comes in different colours. There's a blue and there's a gold and there's a pewter. Um, but the best thing to do to have a look is literally to go onto Facebook and put in Artisan Enhancements in the search bar for some really great cool products to enhance your piece. Right. I'll come back when I'm at the stage, the next stage for the foil. Right, so we've dried it off with a hairdryer. I can feel that it's tacky, but it's not actually pulling off. So all I do is find a bit of the foil that hasn't, um, that's got some space on it. I'm literally pressing it, rubbing it down with my fingers over the top of the bits that were tacky. And then watch, this is just magic. I love it. And then if it's, if it's not enough, if I feel like I want more, I can go back in and press some more so it gives a really nice silver leaf effect so I'm going to go over the whole piece in exactly the same way complicated like you, my usual ones um, it's finished we decided that the piece kind of spoke for itself it was so ornate and pretty that it would just be wrong to try and make it more complicated the silver has worked really well and I really like it it's just it shows in different angles that it catches your eye uh, we put a little crystal handle on the door um, and it's done so I wanted to show you how to use the Arts Enhancements fo uh, foil um, it's a really simple thing to do and it comes in all those lovely colours so have a go, look it up and have a try and I'll see you next time. Thank you.